Given the job of caring for kids by child, youth and family has been jailed for preying on them. Not only did Stephen Claude abuse young girls and boys, he even videoed it and put it on the internet. Stephen Thomas Claude did all he could to avoid exposure when he was sentenced in the Pukikohi District Court. A 10 year old girl was placed in his care late last year along with her younger sister and brother. These people trusted you. One of the victims describes treating you, expecting to be treated as though you were her father. But you didn't care and look after her. You abused her. Claude sexually abused the 10-year-old three times and posted images of her on the internet. He also videoed her siblings. Claude was also convicted last week for sexually abusing a Korean student in his home. 16,000 pornographic images, including those of preschool children and animals, were also found on his computer. They suffer the shame and the degradation of their images being transmitted 
between people like you all over the world. On sentencing, clothes collapsed and had to be helped to his feet. Earlier this year, child, youth and family came under fire following claims that had been warned about Claude, sparking an investigation. Oh, I think that this is yet another incident where SIFs have not been vigilant in terms of the pay placement of highly vulnerable young children with caregivers that have not been screened properly. But in a report, Child, Youth and Family says Claude was vetted and although concerns were subsequently raised, none were about sexual abuse. Child, Youth and Family is completing an internal review into the appointment and assessment of all its caregivers and that report is due in the Chief Executive's hands this week. Mark Tawley, One News.